Maxpact has just released their brand new 300 series gyre pumps along with the Cloud Edition controller, and they've done some really cool things with this next gen gyre lineup. Not only do you have a brand new controller with a big bright color screen and more preset flow patterns, but they're also ready for control through the Synergy Cloud app right out of the box. The new XF330 and 350 pumps have also gotten quite the upgrade with a lot more articulation for directing the flow, and I really love how they've done it. When it comes to specs, the new XF330 and 350 are right in line with the previous generation. They have max flow rates right around 2,350 and 5,280 gallons per hour. They also have the same dimensions, the same magnet strength for attaching on panels up to 0.8 and one inches thick. And they also use the same sine wave technology that keeps these pumps super quiet. So what has changed with these pumps? Let's get into it. The big changes to these new Cloud Edition XF gyre pumps all come down to their very much improved ability to direct the flow to more places. Instead of only being able to rotate each side of the pump independently, which gives you two points of articulation, each side of the pump has now been divided into two parts, giving you four points of articulation to direct the flow vertically. That alone is a great upgrade and makes it a lot easier to use a single pump to distribute the flow throughout the aquarium, but it doesn't stop there. The redesigned clip-on flow deflectors now give you the ability to direct the flow horizontally, and each segment gets its own flow director, meaning you have eight points of articulation total for directing the flow in four completely different directions. Maxpect has a few handy diagrams to help you visualize how you can utilize it to direct the water in the aquarium in different ways, and I'm really happy to see that Maxpect is finding these simple but really novel ways to improve gyre technology and how reefers can implement it to optimize the flow in their reef tanks. The star of the show, however, is the new Cloud Edition controller. This controller is one of the nicest that I've seen. It has physical buttons along with a large color display, which is a huge improvement over the tiny LCD screen on the previous controller. The big display makes it much easier to see what mode the pumps are in, their intensity, or if the warning light for maintenance is active, and it definitely makes it easier to program them. Speaking of programming, the new controller has a lot more presets to choose from. While they all use either constant pulse, advanced pulse, reverse pulse, and random, there are variations of each type that you can choose from so that you don't have to build out your own if all you'd like is longer pulses instead of shorter ones. It is definitely a nice touch for those who don't want to get too deep into programming custom profiles. Like you'd expect, the controller also has a 30 minute feed timer as well, and it can easily be canceled at any time if you prefer it to be shorter. And yes, you can use any combination of XF330 and XF350 pumps you like with the controller, including one of each, and it is easy as pie to set them on the controller so it knows which one's plugged into which port. As awesome as the new controller is, this is in fact the Cloud Edition after all, and the new app experience takes the whole thing up a few notches. Especially since there are now preset dynamic dynamic flow schedules that you can choose from, along with the ability to create, save, and even share your own custom schedules. When you open up the app and connect your gyre pumps, you'll have a clean looking dashboard showing you the pump's status and what manual settings they're in along with their current intensity or what part of the automated schedule they're currently running. You can also turn feed mode on or off and choose the duration, which ranges from five minutes all the way up to 120 minutes in five minute increments, which is great. When it comes to flow modes, you have constant, pulse, gradual pulse, alternating, and random. You can either set each pump to run any of those modes at a set intensity, as well as customize their flow pattern options like pulse duration and length, or you can build out your own custom schedule, mixing and matching different flow patterns, as well as have changes to the same flow pattern multiple times a day for a full 24 hours. For those who aren't that confident in their own skills, Maxpect has added a handful of presets that you can choose from, including ones for SPS, LPS, fish-only systems, and more, which makes the process about as simple as it can get. Another nice feature they added is a maintenance reminder for the pumps, which sends you a notification every three months, reminding you to clean the pumps, which can definitely help you keep track of when you last gave them a good cleaning so they stay in tip-top shape. 
When it comes to maintenance, just like their predecessors, a quick bath in citric acid every two to three weeks is a great way to keep them in tip top shape with minimal effort. But every three months or so, you're definitely gonna wanna take them apart for a full cleaning. And while they do have more parts than a propeller style pump, Maxpect has all of the components neatly labeled and color coded so that you always know which part goes on which side, which is awesome. Plus the new cage design actually makes cleaning them out easier since the cage segments become shorter and easier to reach into. So if you're someone who likes the idea of having gyre pumps that are easier to maintain with way more flexibility to direct all of that flow to where you need it most, while well, having a hugely upgraded controller with app control right out of the box, then you can check out the new Cloud Edition gyres right here.